Hey guys, Christina Ritchie. If you want more pars, get my short game book. And let's get your chipping up to par right now. Where I find players really, really go off around the green is two ways. One, they're trying to chip like their putting stroke. So they're trying to keep their lower body really, really stable and just putt with their arms. All right, you are going to have an inconsistent low point when you do this, and you're most likely going to chunk it or blade it. All right, when you keep your lower body crazy stable and just use the arms, you're not using the chest really either. All right, the club has no choice but to flip up. So you're going to hit up and away, and that's not what we want. Instead, we want to hit down and through. Hit down on it. Hit down on it. Not up and away. All right, players hit up and away where the club works up and the player falls back because they're trying to help it in the air. Instead, we want to hit down and through. We want to hit down on it and then rotate through with our lower body from foot, knee, hip to shoulder. Even though it's a short shot, there's a tiny bit of rotation with the back side, right? And you're gonna be amazed what happens when you do this. You're gonna have crisp contact, a consistent low point, more weight on your front side, starting them slightly ahead. That promotes a consistent low point, coupled with moving your trail side through and finishing with a firm lead side. All right, what we're not doing is staying crazy stable, flipping up, and then finishing with a bent lead side. All right, so the chipping stroke is not the putting stroke. That is a really important big bang point. Instead, we want to hit down on it. Down and through. Hit down on it. Hit down on it. So you hear that nice click for more pars. So it's really important to strike down and through and get your back side through. That's where the magic is. Hit down on it. Hit down on it. All right, so there's your mantra for the course. What do you got to do? Hit down on it. <laughs> Hit down on it. Down. Hit, Hit down, down on it. it. Hit down on it. Hit down on it. The other question I get asked quite a bit, should I hinge or not? And off a tight lie, I don't like to add a lot of hinge. Out of the rough, absolutely. But off this tight lie, you don't need a ton of hinge. All right, all you need to do is move your body back and through. So create a Y with your chest, arms, and club, a capital Y, and you're just gonna move this back and through, all right? Versus trying to add a lot of fancy hinge off a tight lie. That's a really important point. Out of the rough, absolutely you need hinge, all right? So let's do that now, all right? Because the ball's sitting down, I like to open the face a little bit. Add a little hinge, drop it down, and then add a little rotation through. All right, so you can see I'm rotating through. I added a little hinge and drop. So hinge, drop, and rotate through. So when the ball's in the rough, we're gonna add a little hinge here, more weight on our front side. I like to open the face a little bit, and you're gonna break the wrist, All right? You don't have to make a big backswing here. Just need to break the wrist and then drop it with some force. Then add a little rotation for icing on the cake. What you don't want to do is drop and rotate at the same time. So just make sure you drop it first and then add a little rotation through at the end. All right, and you gotta add a little force, especially if it's thick like this. <laughs> 